This week OpenAI launches the chat GPT store. This is going to create a whole new marketplace, much like Apple did with the App Store. It will allow people like you and me to create custom GPTs and sell them to the over 100 million weekly users of OpenAI's ChatGPT. This is massive. Remember those early days of the App Store where people made millions with crappy apps that for some reason became viral? Anyone remember Flappy Bird? Well, this is just like that, but with the potential to be even bigger. In this video, I'll show you step by step how to create a custom GPT. It couldn't be easier, hence why this video is so short. So what are custom GPTs and how do you create one? Well, a custom GPT is much like the chat GPT that you're used to, but it's been created to serve one purpose and you can train it to do that task really well and really easily. So what kinds of GPTs can be created? Well, how big is your imagination? The uses are limitless really. And if you can come up with a super useful GPT, you have a chance of getting in there early and making a killing. So how do you make a custom GPT? It's super easy. Step one, subscribe to the paid version of ChatGPT. This costs $20 a month. Step two, once you're logged in, you will see this explore option on the left hand side. Step three in here, you'll see an option to create a GPT just here. Step four, you can now create a customized GPT in two ways. The first one is option one, a handheld approach where ChatGPT will ask you questions about what kind of GPT you want to create. What's it for? What kind of personality should it have? And it gives you a chance to add in any background data you might want. So for example here, let's create a GPT to create weird and unusual cocktail recipes. Now it will suggest a name and even a logo. It connects to DALI 2 for image generation in the background. Then it will ask you some questions about how it should work, what kind of cocktails it should create, what ingredient it should focus on, and what kind of personality you want it to have, funny or serious for example. Once you've created a few of these, you can start creating them directly by going to the second way of creating a GPT, where you click on configure just here. This gives you all the same options, but allows you to just type in what you want without going through the whole conversation. Like in the previous option, it's less hand holdy. After creating your model, the next step is to monetize it. Listing your model on the ChatGPT store will involve setting a price that reflects the value you think your GPT has to its customers. If you set it to $1 a go, and it takes even a modest percentage of the users of ChatGPT, then you're likely to make a lot of money indeed. So that's it, get creating now, but look out for the ChatGPT store release this week and details on how monetization is gonna work. Good luck.